So when we're migrating instances from OCI Classic into OCI, it's very important we install the vert IO drivers because OCI Classic is based on the Zen hypervisor, but OCI, the next gen um, infrastructure, is based on the KVM hypervisor. So we need to install these vert IO drivers first. Otherwise, what can happen is when we migrate the instance over to OCI, it'll boot up in recovery mode or it won't boot up correctly. So we'll walk through the steps of installing these on a, a source instance. So we just open the service console and I have a sample Windows 2012 instance. And this is the instance we're going to uh, install the drivers on. So just take note of the public IP address. And it'll prompt you for the password you set when you launch the instance. And so we can install the virtual Virtui drivers just by searching for this. If we do a Google search for OCI and Virtio.io drivers, it'll take us to this blog post, which is uh, convenient because it explains the different details for it and it tells us where to download these drivers. So. so these drivers are available from the delivery cloud. So just sign in with your single sign-on. And we can follow along the steps just for demo purposes. I've downloaded this already and you can see it here in the folder. So we just click on the setup just to, to begin this process of installation. So I'm logged in as the administrator. So this needs to be run with admin privileges. Otherwise, there is, you run into issues later on. So just follow the steps in the installation wizard here. The important thing here is to choose custom, otherwise you'll run into issues when you try and migrate this instance later on. So we're going to install Oracle's virt.io drivers here, and this will help us uh, migrate these this instance to OCI. So if you did install these incorrectly, it's important that you'd run this installer again and un uninstall it, reboot your instance, and then run through this installation again. And then finally, you have to reboot the instance. So in this case, it's prompting us to do that here. So we'll just select the option to reboot it now and just hit Finish. And so when we go to migrate this instance later to OCI, we shouldn't have, it, have an issue. So once we've um, installed the virt.io drivers and rebuilt our system, we want to confirm everything's okay. So we can do so by just clicking, right-clicking on the Start menu and clicking Run and checking the registry. So if we run regedit exe, we can navigate to the virt.io um, folder here just to verify this is what we should see. So to find this, we just go through hkey local machine system services and then down the bottom scroll down to under v under ver vio uh, this folder here we should verify the settings as follows and so when we're running migrations there's often a lot of caveats and conditions so just be careful to read through the documentation for example um, 32-bit Windows 2012 instances are not supported for this for these uh, virtual drivers. So, just important to notice all the conditions and uh, caveats when you're carrying out one of these migrations. And so, there is comprehensive documentation available on how to move individual services and OCI Classic onto OCI. So, we'll be covering those in the next few videos.